unpack all of these boxes and share with you some of the things that I got. A lot of it is regular items that I get every month, um, but I might have a few new things in here. So let's get it unpacked and I'll show you what I got. month and show you what I got. Last month I told you that we tried a little jar of Azure's peanut butter because we normally get the Costco brand and um, I didn't, I'm doing Costco every six months and I didn't have enough to finish through. I'm actually going to go to Costco next week to service us the next six months but I needed to buy a filler and I got the Azure brand. We ended up loving it and liking it better than the Costco brand so I got a big old tub of it. I think it's yeah it's five and a half pounds of peanut butter. So um, it's really good, creamy, good natural ingredients in it. I get regularly the heavy cream. It's the Alexander brand on Azure Standard. Um, it's an A2A2 cow. And so we make ice cream out of it quite often. So um, my daughter actually just told me that I probably need to get two of these because um, to make, this only gives us three rounds of ice cream and then we end up not having enough. And then I've got um, the Nancy's brand probiotic cream cheese. This isn't new. I buy it every month. I have been for, I think this is like my third month buying it. Um, mostly I was getting it at Costco. We go through quite a bit of cream cheese. And, um, but since I'm changing my Costco around to doing it every six months, I bought this on Azure to try it and I actually really like it. So we're going to keep going there. I'll probably buy some at Costco when I go next week, but then I know we can fall back on this when that is out. A big block of cheese. I actually um, had some leftover from last month, so I only bought one this month. I don't know if we're just not eating a lot of cheese or what, but that that's shocking. Usually I buy minimum two, sometimes three of those a month. I got some frozen celery slices. Um, some frozen hash brown cubes and some frozen french fries that are the little crinkle cut. So um, we have an air fryer and so we've been actually really enjoying having specialty fries like that and then air frying them in our oven. So the hash browns are just for quick and easy breakfast and casseroles and things. And then actually I bought the celery. We don't just eat celery but I do like having some on hand for soups and stuff and we're getting into soups and stew season. So I wanted to have some in my freezer. I usually just take a cup of it out at a time as I need it. Um, the other frozen things I got was some spinach here. I've been going, um, buying all of my spinach on Azure Standard. This is the Stalbush Island Farms brand. I like it. It's just frozen spinach and it's cut. It's kind of thick pieces. I like to put them in eggs and different things like that. This is also not new. I've been buying this for many months now and it's the Minerva brand or Minerva dairy um, butter and I put it in the freezer and I freeze it and um, then we pull out what we need when we need it and we've been going through quite a bit of butter. Let's go to the other side of the island and we'll catch those. Okay coming around this way I have a whole bag of carrots here. Um, we were out of carrots and so I needed some. I got two big bags of garlic and that's because one of these bags is going to go strictly in the ground because it's time to plant garlic here in my area. And this is just organic garlic so you, there's nothing spray on it so it will sprout just like regular if you were to get online and buy garlic seed. So I bought two bags of it because I'm going to plant a whole bed full of garlic. I'm trying to get to where I have most all of my things um, that we eat throughout the year I want to have in my garden and so I'm trying to get there. I'm not there yet, and so I wanted to plant as much garlic as I can. They don't take a whole lot of space, so you can do them really close together and they'll sprout really quickly. Um, I have a 25 pound bag of sugar here. This is the evaporated bean juice sugar. So this, um, I show this every month, this is the only kind of sugar that I buy, but it's the juice from the cane sugar plant and they evaporate it crystallize it and stop there. So it's a tan color, it's larger crystals, it's not like the refined sugar you buy at the store, and I believe that it is more, it's healthier for your body. Okay, I did find on this side as we we're moving down that I do have a few new things. One of them is these dark chocolate almonds. I bought two little bags of them, they're one pound each. I'm gonna put them in a jar and they're gonna be a little treat for when I want something chocolatey. 
Um, this is a much healthier option for me, so I'm gonna, I'm excited to try those. I like dark chocolate, so um, I think they did have milk chocolate as well, but I like dark chocolate, and dark cho the darker the chocolate, the healthier it is for you. Um, I have three bags here. They're five pound bags, so it's a total of 15 pounds of their pure salt. Get yourself a good quality salt. I like the Azure brand, um, but I also like Redmond's Real Salt, but that does have a pink, um, thicker crystal. This is uh, a little bit less, it's not so thick of a crystal, and so I really actually like it. Chocolate chips, we knew we were out of chocolate chips, so I got minis and I got regulars. Um, I ended up, this is the first time I found it on Azure, and I'm really excited about it, but I bought a, there's six total bags here, and I think they are five ounces each, same size that I would get at the grocery store at Walmart or anything, but they're xanthan gum, so this is going to last me, I'm hoping for a very long time, I don't use a ton of it, um, but I use it in my, my mix of my all-purpose gluten-free flour, and it's the binding agent in a lot of gluten-free dishes. So this, I'm really excited that they started carrying a xanthan gum, because I've been watching for probably many years, and I've always typed it in every couple months just to see, and I've never, they don't ever have any. They did this time, so I'm super excited. So, like I said, I got the six pack of them, and I'll store them down in my long-term storage, and then just keep one in my container in my pantry for when I need it. So I'm really excited about that. That's a new item that I found. Uh, tomato paste, I got six little cans of it. We were out. I got some Amish paste tomato seeds. So I know it's not time yet for seeds, but I saw them on there and it seems like when I wait, then things go out of stock. So I went ahead and got them and I'm gonna try um, planting these this year and getting nice big thick tomatoes for all of our yummy tomato items that I can. I got some quinoa. I was out. I don't cook a lot of quinoa because I'm the only one that likes it, uh, but I do like to have some on hand for when I do. And I can put this in my grain mill and use it as quinoa flour too. We were out of cornstarch. Cornstarch is cheap anywhere you buy it, but you can buy it in bulk here instead of having a whole bunch of those little containers from the store. So I always buy it in a five pound bag when I'm out. I needed some oregano leaves, so I have some dried oregano here. This is my collagen that um, I put my coffee every single morning. This is actually a new brand. I got the Garden of Life brand. Uh, what was the other one I needed? They were out of the one. I think Zint was the one I've been putting in my coffee for years. Um, and they're out of it, so I tried this one. I really don't know the difference or taste the difference because you don't even taste it in your coffee. So um, I wasn't too concerned about trying a different brand. A big old gallon of avocado oil. If you follow these videos every single month, you know that I go through a lot of avocado oil. In place of any kind of seed oil, I use avocado oil. And so it's the mildest in taste. You can do olive oil as well. That's also healthy for you. But um, it does have a stronger taste. Avocado oil does not. So I always use that in place of almost everything. A big bag of onions, um, just like I say with my potatoes and everything else, which I had some leftover potatoes, so that's why I didn't buy any this month. I keep these in my outside fridge and just bring a few in at a time that sit in my pantry for when I need it. So um, this is something that I buy probably every two or three months, they keep just fine in the fridge. So for people that are worried about how do you keep this stuff for so long, a lot of things I keep in the fridge and that actually helps it prolong its shelf life. The last thing I got was cereal. These are just gluten-free corn flakes and they're made actually with pear juice. I really like what's in them. It's cornmeal, yellow corn flour, pear juice concentrate, and sea salt. That is it. So I am very happy with these. If I'm going to um, let my kids have cereal, I like to find a good cereal, not full of dyes and sugars and all the things because that's not setting your body up for any kind of success. And so um, I keep these on hand because then you can also make little baked goods out of it and just different things. So I um, get a whole box of it. When they're out, I get more. And I think it's been quite a few months since we have had, had to buy it anymore. So I also try and get the Rice Krispies they have on that Azure Standard because they are gluten free. They have been out of stock for a really long time, so I'm not sure when I'll be able to get any of those again. But I like to keep those on hand too for if I need to make quick Rice Krispie treats, something fast to bring somewhere that's gluten free. So that's everything I got this month. Um, I hope that this gave you some new ideas. Like I said, it's most of it was staples, but a few new items like the Xanthan gum. 
my seeds. Um, oh, and the chocolate almonds. I'm really excited to try those. So that's everything I got. I hope this was a helpful video for you and gave you some new ideas. Make sure to like and subscribe to the video. I send out one new video every single week. Jump on over to the blog and put in your email address. These videos and recipes and different things are always shared in the in my emails that I send out every single week. So if you miss them on here, if you're an email subscriber on the blog, you will get an email directly into your inbox every single week on Tuesdays. I hope this was helpful. We'll see you next time. Take care.